Congressman Lowenthal, are you going to be in town July 9th? There's going to be a great presentation on a marine highway suggestion. This suggestion is a presentation that's going to talk about creating a marine highway that will alleviate trucking, the cost of trucking, the amounts of trucks on the 710 freeway along the corridor that goes from the port into town. In Stockton, California, they have a marine highway. What they do is they take the containers, they put it on barge-like uh, barges to go up and down the coast to deliver these big containers to where they need to go. Now, that would be good in Long Beach. The people on the west side of Long Beach are really hugely impacted by all the pollution and all the trucks. They live right there. So if they're going to widen the freeway, if they're going to build a mega container complex, put more trucks, what does that mean? It means more problems with pollution on the west side. Okay? And Port of Los Angeles and Port of Long Beach got to work together on this thing. So on July 9th, there's going to be a presentation. What day is July 9th? I will send Wednesday. you the information. <laughs> Okay. Can you get it out to us? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a Wednesday. Yes, it's a Wednesday. <laughs> yes, okay. Along the way. of stuff, it, for the remaining two years of President Obama's administration, I mean, what is the, really, the real likelihood of that? What is the real likelihood? Let, let me step back and say, and I know you're going to say, is that the American public is divided. That is, we have divided government, and when you have divided government because the people are divided, it's very close in this nation, you have one house on one side, you have the president on one side, you have the House of Representatives on the other side, you are going to have problems. But the, that's not to blame it, really. It doesn't mean we shouldn't be working, we're going to have to come to grips with those issues. It really also reflects that we have a deeply divided nation about these issues. This too shall pass. This nation, whether it's in the last two years of the Obama administration or in the next, is going to come, figure out which way direction we're going. It's who we are as a people. We've been through this before in the past. We're not about to overthrow the American democracy. This is not <coughs> Doesn't mean we shouldn't be changing it and fixing it. So we have a divided government. If you're asking me when we have deeply divided, if in the 2014 mm -hmm. elections it gets to be even more divided between, you know, that there's not one party that can just take, you're not going to see a whole lot take place. That's the way I believe at this time. Would I like to see more compromise on all sides? Yes. But people firmly, I <coughs> firmly believe what they believe. These are not people who are not totally committed Americans, even if they disagree with me. They are totally committed Americans and disagree with me. And that's what happens when you're not. I would like to see us do more. I am not super optimistic that in the last two years, unless there's a dramatic change in the 2014 mid-year elections. And historically, the president never does well in mid-year elections. And so my guess is, given historical trends, that we're not going to see in the following two years uh, too much consensus. But that does not mean it won't happen. And the, the, the worst prognosticators of the Congress themselves. 